Perfect. We are cutting away the deck. And it's hot. We've already got part of it out. And we're doing this right now. Aldo is already hacking away and we're enjoying it. Yeah, turn. I'll see where you can hang myself. Okay. Yeah? tearing apart our dog house. There's my dog, and here goes part of the other house. All right, all those, give it a break. really happening. We're going to cut off the roof. As you can see, we're clearing out the cabin now. Uh, the galley uh, is pretty much being unbolted and we are going to uh, start sawing away even more. And uh, I'm feeling good about it. This is amazing. This is what I've really worked towards is to have a uh, beam to beam interior. And that is what I will soon have. And then it's time to rebuild it all the way I want it. And by the way, I am weighing everything off this boat. I've got this really killer scale. It's a, uh, where is it? Oh, it's on top here. It's a scale with a 400 pound capacity. It's digital. So every piece I'm taking off, I come over to this little guy and I do a little quick way and, and uh, yeah, I put this guy down and there we go. So right now I'm looking good. But I'll tell you more about that later. Anyway.
think, Lucky? You got a pretty easy way of it, don't you? <laughs> Come on, mountain man. You want to trade off? I'm good for now. You sure? Okay. Yeah. Slippery. This is harder than I thought. Are we almost there? The peak? Holy crap, this is gnarly. <laughs> Being different isn't a bad thing, it just means you're brave enough to be yourself. One of these things is not like the other. Big success on me street, brother. They sent me to the schools where they try to reform ya. Felt like the honest kid who stayed in California. I'm an untucked darling and I'm proud to be. I'm an untucked darling, doesn't bother me. I'm a strange bird, baby. I'm the first to say I'm a strange bird, baby It's the only way One of these things is not like the other Took a little while for my talent to uncover Discovered They mistakenly took The cover at face value and misread the book We see different prizes We see different lines We hear different voices We see different signs We have different callings We're on different crimes No, I'm different by design gutted all this area out. We're pretty much all ready to start to do a lot of fiberglass over there. So we're all set to go. And over here, I've got pretty much everything out, but not everything. So right now we're laying the deck on the outside. And this place, there was a lot of fiberglass dust everywhere. So that's why I'm wearing a mask. Anyway, <clears throat> so as you can see right now and here, the guys are outside and they're getting the deck on so now we're gonna have two decks completed and we have to we have to glass them in and do all that stuff hey alden oh. Oh, bien. Sorry. problem no. no perfecto yeah nice excellent excellent that looks good i like it muy bien Coming together well. It's always better the second time, it seems, on uh, how you cut things. So this one still has to get dialed in. We're almost done. Yeah, so I also pulled out the last part of the pilot house. So right now, everything is out. Everything that we were removing is pretty much gone, except for a small bit on the other side, which, yeah. And then we're gonna start the construction on the inside. 
while they're doing the, or actually I'll do more of the inside. Anyway, so we're gonna have to remove all of this. I was kind of waiting until the deck got put on and I can cut away the frame, which is super heavy and all this stuff out of here. Yeah, it's uh, definitely going. And over here, we have now really easy access into the hull. So before, one of my main purposes was trying to find a way to design this boat that you can access your AMA from the inside. So as you can see, I've got full head high here, all the way to the, all the, way to the lowest part, and I'm 5'11". So I have 5'11 there. If I go to the other section of the room, oh man, I've got probably seven foot, I would think. It's a pretty good height. So got great coverage here. So I was going, to, I was planning to build the hull, or I should say the floor in the middle, a bit lower, but reality is it's high enough to keep the floor almost even. So I might just do it even, which then allows me tons more room for utility reasons, batteries, water, maker, more tanks if I want, storage as well. So I might take it up a level and come almost flush to this guy here and bring it all the way across. So if I do that, we'll have really, really good storage underneath. That's another project I just wanted to mention. Well, at times there are some uncomfortable moments building a boat when there's a lot of fiberglass dust in the air. It's pretty horrible. Anyway, I just got uh, dusted out. Everywhere I have enough covered is pretty thick of dust. Anyway, the guys are vacuuming up the other side and we're about to lay down the deck. Anyway, and so after they're done with that, they're gonna start to grind away the excess on this, start to round it, fiberglass cloth, and do it all. So real soon we'll be dialed in and it's time to make the outside cut in, look better, and uh, yeah, so we're moving. Well, it's day one of week 10 and we're cooking along, but uh, we found some issues we gotta take care of and it's hot. It's like 80 degrees today. Anyway, I'm sweating bullets, so just outside. Came back and my guys are into a project that I didn't realize would have to happen, but it does. So what we're doing here is taking out all the old wood on top. The plywood has got termite infestation or it had, so there's no strength there. So to make the strength for this wall correctly, we're taking out all the old wood and we're gonna glass it all together after. Muy fuerte, see? Si. How about the vice grip? No? What? Maybe the pliers. Si, I think so. Because it's a... Mucho trabajo. It's a bolt. Maybe, yeah. So you're taking all the plywood away? Si, all the plywood. Has to be strong. Si. This is muy importante. Cross beam. So the cross beams I was planning to redo anyway. To where they would all be glassed and made more strong. So that's what we're doing. Unforeseen work. I hate it, but it has to be done. Uh, we've got the decks in, so we're working on the sides of the detail, trying to get the epoxy all in place, and wherever we have joints, we're going to be doing the tape. So we'll be doing that over here after we get the right shape. We're going to be working on the edge of the roof here. We're going to angle it. We're going to install uh, about a six inch piece all along the perimeter in that area, which will be part hand hold and it will also add a little bit of drop down for shade and for a little bit of look too. We might even go bigger in certain areas. It depends on the angle. Anyway, so the other deck's down. We're gonna refine that later. It's coming together. Let me show you what I'm doing today. The guys are busy. Morning, Aldo. Buenos dias. Anyway, so I'm gonna be working in here and uh, as you can maybe tell, the pilot house is gone. So I've taken the whole remnants of the pilot house out, and that's the floor that we had to rip out, and that stuff is really built well. So today, 
I am taking out the last part of the pilot house, which is right here, this whole thing. And as you can see, you guys can probably guess, it's gonna be hard to get out of here around this wall, which the other one was too, but at least I had access on, on the stairway there, which here I have nothing. It's gonna be a lot of hacking to get this guy out. Hopefully I don't damage our newly installed wall. So I'll be taking all this guy out and it's, uh, man, it's really, really well glassed in. Everything I am taking out of this trimaran has been well built, like well built as an understatement. It's insane. Like they're so heavy and so solid. Whoever built this wasn't concerned about weight. They just wanted strength. And I don't blame them to whatever degree, but I'm trying to lighten up this boat wherever I can, especially due to all that I'm adding. And right now I'm weighing everything off the boat, like I mentioned before. And so far I'm doing really well. I'm in a net negative, even with all this composite I'm putting on. So another removal today will be this guy here. So right now we put the deck down. So as you can see, I have a lot of under coverage that I'm gonna take off. And so I gotta match that kind of like the other one. We are under construction in a very messy way. Today is demolition on the inside, get everything right. I hate dust and I hate everything torn up, but you gotta do what you gotta do. And right now, we're making it work. Dusty as hell, but it's part of the act. So what we're doing here, we're actually preparing the cross beams to get completely glassed and sealed as strong as possible. We're gonna put some carbon fiber on those and do some really good glass, heavy glass jobs. So that's a real strong point of our, of our three uh, supports that hold the roof. So right now we're preparing one that's gonna be sanded out, then we start glassing. And over there, we're taking off all the older wood, the older plywood that there is slight termite damage. We just don't wanna risk it. Wanna be super safe and strong. So we're ripping that one out too which takes a lot of work and a lot of dust and crap everywhere. So we're ripping up the old stuff, putting in the new. That's the way you do it.